This is Kelly Nightlinger with Wild Woman Outdoors on one of my wildest adventures yet. I'm uh, climbing up a underground river um, under a glacier. <laughs> it's slippery. Um, I can't wait to show you where I'm at and what I'm doing. It's crazy. I'd say this is one of the wildest ones yet. Okay, this is what I'm holding on to. Pull myself up. This is where we're headed. Using these little glacial rocks as handholds. Wow, there's another rock embedded in the glacier. If this calved right now, I would be dead. But I'm statistically probably much more likely to get killed by getting run over by a car or from secondhand smoke than, than probably anything else. So, um, such a beautiful place. I wanted to share this with you. And then in my next video, I'm going to slide down to the exit. So, I love you guys. I hope you enjoy. Till next time. Wild Child out. Can you stay back a little bit for a minute, Austin? Mendenhall Lake, Nugget Creek Waterfalls. Wild Woman Outdoors, here inside of a Mulan. Get outdoors and go wild! Oh, I'm running here in Alaska along the Herbert River, heading up to Herbert Glacier, running in some glacial silt. Whew, it's about 70 degrees here in Alaska today. It's absolutely stunning, amazing place. I'm having the time of my life. It's one of the best days I've had. I've seen a sow, black bear, and three cubs. And there's Herbert Glacier, and I'm headed up there now. See ya. Get outdoors. Go wild. I love life and all that it has in it. Don't mind my shaky filming as I'm hiking. I've got this place all to myself. Mendenhall Glacier on a beautiful March day. Gorgeous beauty. Over a hundred miles of ice field. Whew, I'm a little out of breath due to uh, the hiking I've just done. I'm having a ball. I really embrace life every day. To me, living in my camper, and living simply, living, living in a small space, I feel allows me the opportunity to live large. It's all about your perspective. By living in my camper, I can save money and still have my cabin in Montana, my youth camp in Michigan, but I can explore around Alaska with not much cost. Gotta pick my route here. And 
it affords me the opportunity to be able to do things that I would not otherwise be able to afford. And I just love the adventures I have in life, whether they're by myself or with a friend. Today I'm out here by myself and I'm having an extraordinary time and I thought that I would share what I see with others by this little video. Whoa, that's a little bit too steep. I've had four knee surgeries, reconstructive ACL, anterior cruciate ligament replacements. And I have to be careful, I know my limits. But I hope you enjoy this view and I hope this inspires you to get outdoors today, go do something fun by yourself or with your friends or your family. Should be able to make this happen, I think. So, until next time, have a great day. River Cave in Alaska. You always want to be very careful when you're walking across snow and you can hear water rushing underneath it. As you see, it's very thin at the top. If you were walking on this, you could fall. And it is a long drop. Temperature is probably about 10 degrees cooler already. up there a long way. You can see daylight on the far side. Just to give you some perspective, I'm five foot ten. Go wild! Yeehaw! In the mountains in Alaska all day. Stop to take a little snack break. Thought I would show you some of the view here. It's very beautiful. It's almost a straight up climb. Going up's not that bad, but it's going back down that's hard for me. And my dog seems to do it all with ease. Here's a nice little snow cave. Beautiful, beautiful alpine plants. And the peak behind me. Hiking is a very good workout. It's fairly low impact. Here is a wild animal coming at us here. You having fun, Juno? And we came up from down at the bottom of the hill, out of sight, and that's where I'm going to be heading back down after my snack. So I hope you enjoyed this little short view of Alaska. And get outdoors and go wild.
wild. So cute. I was mentioning all of the waterfowl that we have here, and we have that um, hen mallard duck with her little ducklings. Nugget Creek waterfalls and the reflection is so amazing. Gorgeous day here. Mendenhall Glacier. Mendenhall. Get outdoors. amazing day out here. Flight in on rocks, moss. The place is absolutely amazingly gorgeous. It's about 70 degrees here in Alaska. It's a wildflower right next to the river and River Lake. Amazing day. You won't see this stuff in that hall. So get out there and follow your wildest dreams. Hi, this is Kelly Nightlinger with Wild Woman Outdoors here at Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska. Life and dealing with its obstacles is all about looking at your perspective you look at this rock carn in front of me, it looks huge in comparison to Mendenhall Glacier. But if you consider its perspective, really, if the rock carn represented problems you felt you were facing in your life that you thought were so huge and insurmountable, sometimes it just takes looking at things in a different light. So, now, how big does this rock carn look now? It looks small. So keep this metaphor in mind as you're dealing with issues in your life. If they seem huge and insurmountable, step back and take it a look from a different angle. And you'll be surprised how small those problems really are. 90% of what we worry about, we don't have to because it never happens. So live each day to its fullest and enjoy and get outdoors and smile. Hi, this is Kelly Nightlinger with Wild Woman Outdoors. I just thought I'd show you a little view of Mendenhall Glacier and the nearby rookery. And sorry if it's a little bouncy, I'm just holding my phone. So I'm going to be quiet now and just let you enjoy the sounds and the sights of a beautiful winter's day, early spring day in Alaska. Nature awaits you. Get out there. And remember, and nature abounds year round. There's so many beautiful things to see and do here in Alaska and everywhere around the world. So it's important to take the time to do it. Don't let the cold frighten you in the winter time in places where winter can be a little bit chilly. It's still fun and exhilarating and a wonderful experience to get out. Adventure in Alaska. This is gonna be one of my wildest rides yet. This is a glacial river underneath the glacier. Look at how blue the water is. Now, glaciers do move. They're a slow moving moving river of ice. And obviously it melts too and becomes water. So 
this is not for a beginner. I would recommend only doing this if you're really familiar with glaciers and the glacial movement in the area that you're at. Actually, I wouldn't really recommend this to anyone, but I'm a bit of a wild child. So these are the things that I really get excited about. And right up here, I can see something in the ice. I'm just gonna go up here and see what it is. Um, look at, there's a, looks what to be a rock embedded in the glacier. And I've seen plants, all kinds of cool things in here. So I'm gonna shut this off for now and um, take a break and reevaluate my plan. We're at Herbert Glacier and I'm getting ready to cross the river. I didn't bring any rubber boots, so that would be not a very difficult path. But I'm gonna see how I can cross it here. I don't have any shoes on. The water flow is. Of course, it's freezing cold. I'm here in front of Mendenhall Glacier in the Tongass National Forest. Um, I wanted to explain a little bit about myself. I am a wilderness survivalist and adventurist. There's nothing I won't do that's outdoor related. If I don't know about it, I'll learn about it. If I have a fear of it, I'll overcome it. Hello, this is Kelly Knightlinger with Wild Woman Outdoors here in Glacier Park again. GNC is one of my favorite places to come. You never get tired of it. There's all kinds of ways to recreate here. If you're not very adventurous and you want to go on a day hike, there's day hikes of all levels and distances. Everything from young children and backpacks to toddlers walking to strollers there's places to bicycle so many things to do the halfway point for this going to the sun road is just around the corner and right now there's about 30 to 40 feet of snow right here so the only way to get across that would be with crampons and ice climbing gear all the way because there's some overhangs that are pretty steep. It's Kelly and I'm walking up to Eagle Cabin that's on Eagle Lake overlooking Eagle Glacier. And I just hiked all the way here. It's been a lot of fun. And here's the cabin. Very cool. And I'll show you the lake. And the glacier. 